Uh, I, I can sh maybe show you quickly a little bit about randomness. Uh, it, it's a bit involved to start changing control points of curves, but I can change rotation scaling easily enough, which will also result in a somewhat randomized. So let, let's start with, with one hand-drawn curve in Rhino that we're going to sort of display differently. Right, so this one here. I will import it using a curve parameter. So I will, I will reference this one curve. And then I will create a rectangular array just to generate a whole bunch of these things. That's my geometry. My uh, rectangular array cell will be something like this. Excellent. And I will create, sure, this many objects. So now I have, now I have 18 almost identical curves because they're all the same shape, size, and rotation, but they have a different position. So we, we can take these curves and measure their, their uh, centroid, right? So this actually, for each curve, that's, that's the sort of area centroid where it would, it would balance. And we can generate unique rotational angles for each of these curves. So if I rotate an object using transform, let's see, rotate in plane, yeah, sure. Rotate my curves using some angle, which is yet to be determined. And rotation plane is, oh, sorry, this one. Okay, uh, the angle is actually, it's, sorry, it's hard to see because the menu goes off the screen. Uh, well, let, let's switch to, to degrees, first of all. So I can, I can say I can rotate everything through 10 degrees, right? Or everything through 45 degrees. And it's the same number for all of them, so they all still look the same. Oh. But I can generate a list of random numbers that allows me to, to actually specify a different rotational angle for every individual shape. So random works by saying that I have a domain, and it's anywhere between 0 and 60 degrees. That's my range. I want not one random number, but in this case, 18. I'll just hard code that for now. So 18 random numbers. And, okay, and this, these become my rotations. So now I can actually hide this and see that everyone has a different, different rotation based on some random property. And these ranges, these seats, they're all, you, you can change them from sliders, you can change them by having geometry in Rhino if you want to. It's, it's all very, very flexible. So in, instead of actually rotating uh, individual objects, you would sort of move control points around in X and Y a little bit to achieve what you were asking. It, it's the same basic logic. 